guys, it's Robin, and today I have something different to tell you about. Um, I'm going to be talking about a series of books based on a little puppy called Lola. So, um, I was approached by their publisher, Creston Books, to talk about these. Um, I think because they know I love dogs, and um, Penny is, you know, my puppy here who is sitting down here. I've been trying to get her to come up. I have treats for her. Let's see if she'll come help me review these books today. Come here, Penny. Come say hi. Oh, oh, there she is. There's Penny. <laughs> She's coming up, puppy. Um, so these are a series of books by Marsha Goldman, who I believe is um, Lola's mom. And Lola is a little therapy dog who is the star of her own series of books. And I just thought this is such a sweet story. There's Lola's actually a real dog, and she's the star of this book. And there are really cute photographs of Lola and her adventures, and I just think that's really cool. I mean, if you know, uh, if you follow me and Penny on Instagram, Arm Cabana and Penny Pug 2016, hashtag 20 Pug, Penny Pug, I take a lot of picture, pictures of Penny and her adventures, but she, I'm sorry, Penny, um, she does not work as hard as little Miss Lola here. Um, so Lola is a therapy dog, and she's a little Yorkie, a little five-pound Yorkie, and that is very rare for a little Yorkie to be a therapy dog, and she visits, um, children with autism and special needs and seniors and I think that's a very cool and she has to go through all this training and um and in this book talks this first book Lola goes to work is a nine to five therapy dog it talks about how she became a therapy dog and oh she's so cute and it actually has photographs and it tells her story which I also like because I'm I um I was a big scrapbooker and I love to take photographs and I love to take pictures of my puppy and dogs and um, here it says, they said I was too little, but I went to school to learn anyway. And she learned how to be a therapy dog, and she worked very hard, and she's very cute. And the story also talks about um, how she could learn how to behave, and um, oh, so cute. So the photographs are just really adorable. And she gets to wear a special scarf because therapy dogs usually have something on them. And she meets with um, people and cheers them up, people who are sick or not feeling well. And she visits kids in schools and helps them learn and play. And it's all very, very sweet. Oh, look. She drives a car. No, not really. <laughs> but it is a very cute little story. And, you know, I like the idea that a dog is out there helping someone. And I think that is very sweet. It's a very cool little um, story. And she has some other stories as well. I have here Lola and the Tattletale Seek. I just love that title. That's really funny. I haven't read this one yet, um, but apparently Zeke made a big mess. That is very not a very good dog. I wonder if Zeke is her brother. Um, oh, and this is signed. That's very cute. Oh, it is. He's he's my little brother Zeke, but he's he's bigger than her. I know what that's like. Oh, and it sounds like <laughs> this is funny because my brother is a lot taller than me too. So, um, and there they are playing together. Oh, these are really sweet, Penny. You're missing out. And then Zeke gets in all kinds of trouble. And that is a very cute story as well. Very nice that her brother gets to be in the story. And then we also have Lola goes to school. Penny, come on up. You want another treat? Up, up, up. Come here, Penny. Up, up, up. See, she's not as well trained as Lola. Up. Good girl. Um, Lola goes to school. This one looks almost like a school bus. Uh, there's some cute illustrations in, in the interior, too. And this one is her first day of school. Oh my goodness, these photographs are really, really adorable. Oh, look at her with the little, little backpack. I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys. But here, it's talking about Lola going to school to train to be a therapy dog, I guess. Very cute. And um, there's also, at the end of the book, I think this is really neat, um, you know, talks about words, focus words, empathy studies, so you, there's questions you can discuss if you're a teacher, or, you know, if you just want to talk about the book and the story with your kids, there's activities, like make an all about me book, draw a picture of things that make you excited, um, and there's more curriculum ideas on, um, on the website, which is, you can go to www.crestonbooks.co and you can find the books there. Um, 
very very cute and let's see there's one more book I have here called Lola goes to the doctor so it also um, the stories are also supposed to be about experiences that might be difficult like going to school or dealing with a tattletale <laughs> like a, um, a troublemaker or going to the doctor because everybody has to go to the doctor and sometimes it's a scary thing but if Lola can do it so can your little kids right so here she is <laughs> there's a pigeon at the doctor that is pretty funny Oh, that's adorable. Penny does not like going to the doctor, so I should probably read this to her before we go. And there's also uh, more questions and activities here. Um, these books were written by Marsha Goldman, who is um, Lola's mom. <laughs> and she has a master's degree in special education, and she focuses on autism. And, um, and Lola is a dog who goes around and helps people and I just think that is really sweet and that's why I wanted to tell you guys about these books and there's also a really cute little Lola plushie that you can also get on the website and I just think it's it's actually really really soft and adorable and Penny are you gonna come over here or what come here Penny come here here's Penny Penny come here and say hi to Lola come say hi to Lola she's so cute she should hang out with little Penny on my desk I'm going to pin you another treat. Um, so you can find out more about these books at, um, let me find the website again for you guys, crustinbooks.co, it says .co, um, I'll put the links down below, and also um, Marsha Goldman, marshagoldman.com slash books, and they're also available on Amazon, and they're in some specialty bookstores. I just think it's a very sweet message, and, you know, it's something... I just think it's really cute, and there's also a cute little plushie, and it's about puppies, so, you know, I just, I just really think it's a very sweet. I'll definitely be reading this with my nieces, and maybe sharing them with some friends of mine who are teachers as well, because I think these are really good messages for kids, and I want to say thanks so much to Creston Books for sending these to me, along with the little Lola here, and Penny also says thank you for Pen. Penny, come here! Penny just hit the camera. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will like this video and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And like I said, all the links will be down below where you can find out more about these books and Lola. And um, she's been on the news. She is a famous little dog. She is really just such a little cutie. I think she's awesome. And um, I'm, I, I, I love hearing stories about dogs that um, do good things. Penny, I hope does good things too. I hope she makes you guys laugh and smile. She makes me laugh. <laughs> I wish she would have been in this video to help me laugh, but sometimes she just doesn't want to be in videos. I can't control her. She's a dog. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and thank you for being awesome. Just like Lola. Bye guys. Be sure to check out some of our other videos and hit that subscribe button.